Good evening, Dr. Phil here. Today we will be discussing on oxygen measurement. Oxygen is a non-metallic element. Forms of existence includes at the lower atmosphere, a colorless, odorless, diatomic gas, O2, and in the upper atmosphere, triatomic oxygen, O3, or known as ozone, or monoatomic oxygen. It makes up 21% of air by volume. It is the most plentiful element in the Earth's crust. Discovery It is discovered independently in 1771 by Shiel and Priestley. Priestley calls it the phlogisticated air, and it is recognized as a gas by Lavoisier, who named it oxygen. It is most abundant as water. It combines with many other elements and molecules. It is essential for cellular respiration in animals and lower plants. And in higher plants during photosynthesis, higher plants take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Boiling point, negative 183 degrees Celsius. Melting point, negative 218 Celsius. Critical temperature at negative 118 degrees Celsius. Atomic weight of 16. Specific gravity is 1.1 for liquid oxygen and 1.4 for gaseous oxygen. Commercial oxygen is supplied in liquid form, manufactured by the fractional distillation of air. Provision of oxygen in hospitals is via pipe gas supply, oxygen concentrators, or in cylinders at 137 bar. Clark electrode The Clark electrode or polarographic electrode is a device used to measure the partial pressure of oxygen in a gas or liquid sample. Components It comprises a silver silver chloride anode and a platinum cathode based in an electrolyte solution with an oxygen permeable Teflon membrane separating the electrolyte solution from the gas or liquid sample. The anode is made of silver or silver chloride, cathode made of platinum, electrolyte solution is potassium chloride or sodium chloride, oxygen permeable Teflon membrane separates the cell from the gases in the breathing system, ammeter, battery, and a chamber for blood or gas sample. Mechanism of action Oxygen molecules diffuse through the oxygen permeable membrane and electrolyte solution to reach the silver anode. The number of oxygen molecules that crosses the membrane is proportional to its partial pressure in the liquid or gas sample. An electrical voltage of 0.6 to 0.8 volts is applied by the battery across the electrodes and the current is measured. The voltage from the battery causes the silver to react with chloride in the electrolyte solution to produce electrons. 0.6 volt is chosen as it is adequate to initiate the reaction but only has minimal effect on the measured current flow. An electric current is produced when the anode donates electrons that are accepted by the cathode. The circuit is completed by the input terminal of the amplifier. The amount of electrical current generated is proportional to the partial pressure of oxygen. For each oxygen molecule present at the cathode, four electrons can be consumed. The greater the oxygen partial pressure, the greater the flow of current, and the greater the reading given. Reaction at the silver anode Ag plus Cl negative becomes AgCl plus electron. Reaction at the electrolyte, KCl plus OH negative becomes KOH plus Cl negative. Reaction at the platinum cathode, oxygen plus 4 electrons plus 2H2O becomes 4 OH negative. Calibration is achieved with a gas of known oxygen concentration using either 100% oxygen or 21% oxygen, aka room air. Advantages of the Clark electrode It can measure partial pressures of oxygen in gas or liquid samples. It is accurate to plus minus 3%. Disadvantages of the Clark electrode Changes in temperature affects its accuracy. The cathode must be kept at 37 degrees Celsius. Presence of halothane affects its accuracy and readings may be falsely high. It has a limited life expectancy of 3 years due to the deterioration of the membrane. It needs regular service 
the cathode and the membrane must be kept clean from protein deposits. Regular calibration is vital. It has a slow response time of 20 to 30 seconds. Only one reading is produced. This reading is the average of the inspiratory and expiratory oxygen concentrations. The galvanic fuel cell or Hutch fuel cell. The fuel cell is a device used to measure the partial pressure of oxygen in a gas sample. Components include an anode which is made of lead, a gold mesh cathode. Electrolyte solution can be either potassium hydroxide or potassium chloride. Oxygen permeable membrane separates the cell from the gases in the breathing system, ammeter and a chamber for gas sample. It comprises a lead anode and a gold mesh cathode based in an electrolyte solution with an oxygen permeable membrane separating the electrolyte solution from the gas sample. Mechanism of action of the fuel cell. Oxygen molecules diffuse through the oxygen permeable membrane and electrolyte solution to reach the gold cathode. The number of oxygen molecules that crosses the membrane is proportional to its partial pressure in the gas sample. An electrical current is generated. The amount of electrical current generated is proportional to the partial pressure of oxygen. The greater the oxygen partial pressure, the greater the flow of current, and the greater the reading given. Reaction at the lab anode, 2 Pb plus 4 OH negative becomes 2 PbO plus 2 H2O plus 4 electrons. Reaction at the gold cathode, O2 plus 4 electrons plus 2 H2O becomes 4 OH negative, and the overall reaction is 2 Pb plus O2 becomes 2 PbO. Calibration is achieved with a gas of known oxygen concentration using either 100% oxygen or 21% oxygen. Advantages of the fuel cell Water vapor does not affect its performance. It is accurate to plus minus 3%. It produces its own voltage and needs no other electrical source. It has a low maintenance and guaranteed lifespan. Disadvantages of the fuel cell It reads either inspiratory or expiratory oxygen concentration. It is depleted by continuous exposure to oxygen with a lifespan of one year. To prolong its lifespan, protect it from exposure to oxygen when not in use. It has a slow response time of 20 to 30 seconds. It is bulky and heavy, not robust, and accuracy is affected by temperature. It can be controlled by incorporating a thermistor into the circuit. It is affected by accumulated nitrogen from nitrous oxide passing through the fuel cell. As nitrous oxide reacts with lead and the anode to produce nitrogen that can damage the cell. Compared with the Clark electrode, external power source is not needed by the fuel cell and needed by the Clark electrode. The anode in the fuel cell is made of lead, and the anode in the Clark electrode is made of silver, silver chloride. The cathode in the fuel cell is a gold mesh, while in the Clark electrode, the cathode is made of platinum. Electrolyte solution in the fuel cell is either potassium hydroxide or potassium chloride. And the electrolyte solution in the Clark electrode is either potassium chloride or sodium chloride. Sample to be assessed in the fuel cell is only gas sample. However, in the Clark electrode, gas or liquid sample can be assessed. Paramagnetic Oxygen Analyzer Modern paramagnetic oxygen analyzer has components such as measuring chamber, reference chamber, pressure transducer, sampling tube, and electromagnet. In the measuring chamber, the gas sample for which oxygen concentration is to be determined is delivered to the measuring chamber. In the reference chamber, the reference gas is delivered to the reference chamber which is usually room air. The two chambers are separated by a pressure transducer. The electromagnet is rapidly switched on and off at a frequency of 100 to 110 Hz. A changing magnetic field is created. The poles of the electromagnet is separated by a narrow gap. The gases are subjected to this changing magnetic field. Mechanism of action. Oxygen is paramagnetic. 
Oxygen has unpaired electrons in the outer shell, which is attracted to a magnetic field, also known as paramagnetism. Most other gases are diamagnetic, i.e. repelled by a magnetic field, also known as diamagnetism. The formation of a pressure difference between the measuring and reference chambers. When oxygen molecules in both chambers are subjected to a changing magnetic field, they become attracted and agitated. The agitation of oxygen molecules causes a pressure change in each chamber containing oxygen. This pressure difference is proportional to the oxygen partial pressure difference between the two chambers. The pressure difference generated across the pressure transducer between the two chambers is typically 20 to 50 microbar. The transducer converts pressure forces to electrical signals, which is displayed as oxygen partial pressure or volume percentage. Advantages It is highly accurate and widely used. It is able to function continuously without service breaks. It has high sensitivity and rapid response, able to analyze oxygen concentrations in each inhaled or exhaled breath. Audible alarms can be incorporated for set oxygen concentrations. Water trap is incorporated as water vapor affects accuracy. A mass flow sensor is used in some designs. Traditional Paramagnetic Oxygen Analyzer The traditional Pauling Paramagnetic Analyzer has components such as two glass spheres filled with nitrogen. Nitrogen is a weak diamagnetic gas. A wire to suspend the dumbbell spheres and allows it to rotate within a non-uniform magnetic field. Mechanism of Action As the gas sample enters the chamber, the oxygen in the sample gas is attracted by the magnetic field and this displaces the dumbbell. The degree of rotation of the dumbbell is proportional to the amount of oxygen present in the gas sample. The rotation of the spheres displaces a mirror attached to the wire. A light deflected from that mirror falls on the calibrated screen to measure the oxygen concentration. Now deflection type paramagnetic analyzer. It has a similar dumbbell design as the Pauling paramagnetic analyzer, but oxygen concentration is measured not by the degree of rotation of the dumbbells, but by the amount of current required to keep the dumbbells in a neutral position as a measure of oxygen concentration. It has a slow response time of up to one minute. Zirconia oxygen analyzer. The zirconia cell is an electrochemical galvanic cell employing a high temperature of more than 450 degrees Celsius, ceramic sensor containing stabilized zirconium oxide. Oxygen concentration is calculated based on the Nernst equation. By measuring the electromotive force generated between the electrodes on the inside and outside of the zirconia element. Mass spectrometry. Benefits include extreme accuracy and rapid response time, and simultaneous measurement of different compounds is possible. Disadvantages. Large expensive equipments are used and thus it is not routinely used in operation theatres. Mechanism of action. Gas sample is introduced into an ionization chamber. Some of its molecules pass through an electron beam and becomes charged. Ionized particles are then accelerated out of the chamber to reach a strong magnetic field. The magnetic field deflects the particles according to their mass. Ions that are too heavy bends less than those that are light. Only ions of the right mass enters the detector. The molecules of interest is detected and recorded on the display, and breath-to-breath -breath analysis of oxygen concentration is possible. The Haldane apparatus and the Van Slyke apparatus are historical devices used to measure oxygen. The Haldane apparatus is a burette for measuring gas volumes of carbon dioxide or oxygen. Measurement of carbon dioxide. Gas volumes of carbon dioxide is measured before and after removal of carbon dioxide by reaction with potassium hydroxide. The volume percentage of carbon dioxide in the original gas mixture may thus be determined. Measurement of oxygen. Gas volumes of oxygen is measured before and after the removal of oxygen by a reaction with pyrogallon. The volume percentage of oxygen in the original gas mixture may thus be determined. 
Van Slyke apparatus. It's a device used to measure blood gas partial pressures, release of oxygen and carbon dioxide from the blood by using a liberating solution. Release oxygen or carbon dioxide is kept in the burette and converted to a non-gaseous substance by a chemical reaction. Conversion of oxygen or carbon dioxide to a non-gaseous substance by a chemical reaction results in a pressure drop in the burette which is proportional to the amount of oxygen or carbon dioxide in the sample. The same reagents may be used as in the Haldane apparatus. These are my references. Thank you.